All right, so I just received a compact bore scope, model number GL8711, as you can see there. And there's some a uh, little bit of specs here on the outside, or I guess not really specs, but a little bit about what comes with it. Comes with a camera, a 4.3 inch screen, uh, high resolution, uh, zoom functionality, high quality color. So let's go ahead and bust into this. I'm, if you were, really, if you're a mechanic, um, I mean, really just about anybody for personal use, this would probably be great as well. If you're wanting to get into your duct works at home, if you're wanting to see what's inside of your motor, or even there's a specific spot that I want to see a code inside of my car that I can't do without taking a bunch of stuff off, now I should be able to do it with this bore scope. So let's take a look inside of it. All right, let's open the box. And inside the box comes another box. A really nice protective case. I like that. Zipper action on it. You've got your device here. And what do we have here? Oh, some hooks. We'll get into that here in just a minute. We have our user's manual. Probably good to read, which we can check out. Let's take this out. And my favorite thing to do, peel that guy off. And we take battery wise. It's going to take four AA batteries, so I'm going to need to get those before we power it up. And this is the scope on the outside of it, tucked away right there. There it is. And it it's a uh, it's not what I thought, so I actually like that. It's stiff, so you can direct it anywhere you want it. There is a ring of LEDs around here, which we'll check it out in just a minute. I believe there were six LEDs. I believe this is around eight millimeters in uh, narrow, and it's a waterproof case. It is IP67, if I remember correctly. I think it said it on here somewhere. Um, I don't know where it said it, but IP67 rating, which is nice because it's protected against dust and water. And then uh, let's get some batteries and play around with it and see what there is. I did want to mention that it came with a, I think it was a 32 gig card. Although I don't even know where the card goes. Oh, right there. So if you're looking to buy a bigger size card, but really 32 gigs is going to be plenty big enough for you. And this looks like your charging port here, or I guess a dumping port wouldn't be charging because there's double A's. So USB, uh, looks like a USB micro right there which is nice. Those are the only two ports that it comes with. So let's um, let's go look back in some holes and see what we can find. All right, so I brought this little guy outside. We're gonna check it out. Just a quick tutorial on how to use it. Yeah, power button, hold the power button down. A couple seconds, she'll boot up. And then once it's booted, I'll unravel this cord or the scope. And let's we'll just shove it down in this little hole here that we would normally not be able to see down in. Back in there somewhere. And as you can see, this is like a mechanic's dream for looking around on stuff. And you can turn the light on. We can get the light turned on. So it's getting brighter down in there. I'll try to take the recording from this as well. But for example, let's do this here real quick. For example, there's something I want to look at here and I want to take a picture of it. I can snap a photo and now that photo can be viewed up there. Full screen. One more click goes back to your, to your live camera. So if you want to uh, do a video of it, you long press till your little recording light comes on up here. And now you're doing a video and you can see wherever. And then when you're done with the video, single press. And if you want to play the video, it's one click, get you the screen in there, the picture in picture, two click, get you full screen and then you'll be able to scroll through them 
and play button is right there. And so this is actual footage of what we just recorded, which is kind of nice. So if there's anything you want to look at or show somebody, show a client, or for any reason you want to record that, you can. You can record and then play back, which is pretty nice. But overall, this is really good. The quality of it seems to be amazing. I can check my grill out. Underneath my grill, I guess, my radiator. Well, like I said, what comes in the box was the user's manual, the device, and these clips. I wanted to show these clips to you real quick. I thought they were really neat. And if you're going down a drain or, or back in some sort of area that you need a hook, this actually just connects on here. It's a little screw on. So not only can you see back in there, you can use the hook to grab what it is that you're looking for, like back in duct work or uh, a set of keys underneath of your cabinet, or and that's all the time in our house, uh, a remote control under the couch. <laughs> this, this device would be great for it. And this one is actually a magnet. So if you're needing something uh, that's metal, that's tucked away somewhere, you can get it out, you can find it with the camera, and then you're able to get it out with the magnet, which is nice. Um, as uh, six LEDs, six LED lights up here, it's an eight millimeter in diameter, comes with a 32 gig card for storage of photos and videos that you're able to capture. It is IP, what did I say, IP67, uh, waterproof, dust protected, it's very nice. Um, is a 4.3 inch screen. The quality of the screen is really good. And I love this and can't wait to use it in a practical application, which is probably later today. But right now, that's the view. That's what you get. And it's pretty amazing. So if you're looking for something along these lines, uh, along uh, bore scope lines, I would definitely check this out for the price. It is 100% well worth it.